Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Roman Just Codes. I'm Roman, and in this video I'll be showing you how to securely authenticate your users via Firebase authentication on your Angular PWAs and web apps. So, what we'll be doing in this fourth episode of the Angular PWAs and Google Maps series is creating a friendly landing page for our PWA, which will prompt the users to log in before proceeding further. We'll be exploring Firebase authentication using a Google account. We'll be consuming the payload returned upon being authenticated. We'll also create a welcome page, which displays the returned user information, such as photo and display name. And from here is where we will allow the users to visit the map page, where we'll also show the logged in user information at the top of the page via Angular services and the power of behavior subjects. This is a continuation of the project I've been creating for a fictional package delivery company called UPS. So make sure to watch the previous videos to see the journey we've completed so far. Let's get started. First things first, in order to tap into the power of Firebase, make sure to have a Firebase account and in the Firebase console, create a brand new project. I'll name my project UPS Sample Proj. Next, I'll disable Google Analytics as it is not required for this project. Continue. Wait until the project gets created. Once the project gets created, hit continue. I'm only going to be focused on the authentication piece for this video, but Firebase has such an amazing range of features, great for mobile, web, and PWAs, which we'll be covering in later videos. On the left navigation, go to the Authentication tab. Select Sign In Method, where you'll be presented with several authenticating options. We'll pick Google as our sign in provider. Hit the Enable toggle. Select the project support email and save. Double check that the Google sign in provider is enabled as shown here. Now with the authentication piece set up, now let's register the type of app that will be leveraging the authentication. We'll set up a web app denoted by this HTML tag icon. Register the app by giving it a nickname. I'll call it UPS web app. I won't add Firebase hosting as I can do that later if I want. Firebase hosting is another great feature available from Firebase that allows you to host web apps on the Google Cloud for free. Hit register app. As a result, you get a snippet of code with the configuration required in your web app to communicate with the Firebase project created and tap into the services available in it, in our case, the Firebase authentication. Grab that Firebase config object in the snippet and keep it somewhere handy since we'll be using it later in our Angular PWA. Click continue to console and you're done. Back in our project, we'll need to install some dependencies so we can establish the communication end to end between our project and the Firebase authentication. Install the Angular Fire Angular package as well as the Firebase package via npm using the command npm install at angular slash fire space Firebase. This will install the two required dependencies for this project, which are the Angular Fire package and the Firebase package. In the project's environment files, Paste the Firebase configuration object from earlier, both for production and development. With that in place, let's go to the Angular project's appmodule.ts where we will now hook up the configuration to the Angular Fire module package just imported. In the imports, call the Angular Fire module initialize app method, pass it in the Firebase configuration object from the environment file. This line is key to tie things together seamlessly between this project and the Firebase project created in the cloud. 
Let's save and continue. Let me continue by creating a folder called services in the main app folder. And inside, I'll create a service called login. This service will serve as a wrapper around my authentication implementation. That way I only keep it in one place, which then can be shared by the whole application. Inside the login service, I'll create a behavior subject called auth user, which will hold a reference to the currently logged in user. The user model being referenced here comes from the Firebase library, which represents the logged in user and brings useful information about them. Time to inject now the Angular Fire Auth, which will handle the authentication piece itself on our behalf. Import the necessary packages. Next, import the Angular router package as well, which will handle the redirection within the application. I'll create a method called login with Google since this will be the wrapper around the action of signing in with Google. I'll make it type observable so I can allow other components to subscribe to this event. Inside my observable, I'll perform the actual signing in using the available sign in with pop-up, which conveniently pops up a separate window that handles the authentication for me and just returns to me the result of that action. This pop-up requires the authentication provider, in our case, the Google Auth provider. Remember that I can have other providers like Facebook or Twitter. This returns a promise, an object that represents an action to be executed in the future. So once the authentication promise gets resolved, then I'll receive a response, type user credential, which contains the authenticated user information. If I indeed have a user in my response object, then I will store that info in my behavior subject property, so other components can get notified about it if subscribed to it, and then I complete my observable so subscribers can get notified about the completion of the authentication process. I'll create another method called logout, which will log the user out via the auth signout method, which also returns a promise, and redirect them to the landing page. I can do some further cleaning up in here, like nulling the auth user property, etc. but I'll keep it simple for the sake of this tutorial. I'll still need to create two new pages, the landing page and a welcome page, where I'll show the user's profile. After creating the page components, I need to add their corresponding routes so we can navigate to them appropriately. One route for the landing page component with path named landing. One route for the welcome page with path named welcome. And now make the default landing page to be, well, landing. Now all the page pieces are in place and redirecting correctly. Now I have to add the corresponding HTML and CSS for those pages. So I'll spare you the details on that and just fast forward through those.
and this is it just a simple page with a logo an image i drew real quick some text and a button at the bottom so this page is supposed to prompt the user to sign in with google upon clicking on that button so let's add a click event called login back in the typescript of this component i now need to inject the login service which encapsulates the authentication logic for this app also the router since i'll be doing the redirection from here upon signing in i'll create the login method here bound to the click event in the markup and simply call the this dot login service dot login with google method subscribe to it so i get notified once we are done and once we are simply redirect the user to the welcome page I love how encapsulated and decoupled we made the authentication process. The landing page doesn't know anything about it. It just calls a method out of the login service and we're done. We could do the same in the future if we want to provide Facebook and Twitter as third providers or just plain old email and password authentication. Okay, let's do this. I click on the sign in with Google button. The authentication pop-up shows and I select the account I want to log in with. And as expected, we get redirected to the welcome page. Let's add the missing pieces on this page now. Same thing, I'll spare you the details on its implementation and just fast forward through coding it. After I'm done, I'll grab this method stub I wired to the welcome page buttons click event called on track package whose only job will be to redirect me to the map save all and now we see the page taking shape we have the right pieces in place which will need to be populated with real data in our case the authenticated user information in this page, I'll be consuming the authenticated user information after signing in. So here, I create a property that will capture that reference from the login service. I'll also call it auth user type observable just to be consistent. I make it type any, but I can make it type user as well. Now I need to inject both the login service and Angular router service. In the ng on init method, I'll get the reference of my behavior subject auth user via a method I will create called get logged in user. This method will return the behavior subject as an observable, so I can also subscribe to it. Back in my login service, I create this method as such get logged in user and return the auth user as an observable. Now, whoever subscribes will be notified accordingly. And since I'm consuming it in the welcome page, I'll get notified as well. And Angular will kick in and show the authenticated user information. Check this out. In the markup, I'm already bound to the auth user property, which I'll be tapping into its sub properties for photo URL and display name. I'm using the async keyword, which unwraps the value of the observable and unsubscribes it automatically as well. When no photo is available, I'll just default to a local image that I have. Same thing for the display name. When no user is available, I'll just default to the string anonymous. Now back to my on track package method. All I need to do here is just redirect to the map page. So I'll do the usual this router navigate and pass the route path label. Save all and refresh. Let's go through the whole workflow. Boom, we got the authenticated user info. And now if I click on the track your package button, I should be redirected to the map page. 
and the map should continue working as before. Now, the map is missing something at the top here. I still want to display the information of the user who just logged in for context. So how do I bring that information here as well? I showed it on the welcome page. Will it be duplicated data? Not at all. Thanks to the reusable and encapsulated way that we created the service login service earlier, it will be just a breeze. Look, on the map page markup, I'll just drop a bit of code to create yet another panel that will be anchored to the top of the page on top of the map. And if you notice, I'm using a familiar property here, auth user, with the async keyword and all, and pulling the same properties. This time around, I'm adding an additional click event called logout for, yes, you guessed it, wiring the logout method we created a while back. I'm glad you're all caught up. Let's go to the TypeScript code and implement the remaining pieces. I'll create the method stub here for the logout method. Before I forget, let me add the CSS for the map user panel here as well. And see, I have the styles for all of those new components I'm adding. The logout button, the content, display name, description, the user image, etc. Okay, back to TypeScript. Let's add the auth user property. Again, type of servable auth user. This time I'm actually using the correct type. Let me add the constructor to this page so Angular injects the required dependencies. In our case, the login service, which we need to get the logout functionality and the logged in user. So right here in my ng on init method, I'll wire up the auth user. Let's save and refresh. You can see at the top the map user pill with the same image and display name I'm using in the welcome page. It is exactly the same reference, which has been reused in both places. Now let's wire up the logout button. Inside the method, let's just type this.loginService.logout. And the cool thing about this is that the logout even takes care of the redirection piece as well. You could have made it so it returns an observable and you handle the redirection on this end, but it's cool that you keep it all encapsulated and centralized where it applies. Save all and let's test the complete workflow one last time. Let's sign in, select the account, welcome Roman Jacques, and now you're in the map. Tap on a pin. and hit the logout, and we're done. So cool how we were able to integrate such an important piece to this Angular PWA as this user authentication, and how simple and straightforward Firebase allows us to add this feature for free to our mobile and web apps. Well, this is it for me. In upcoming videos, we'll be diving deeper into other topics and continue enhancing this application with rich and useful features. Hope this video was useful to you as it was fun for me to create it. See you on the next one. That's it for this video, so please stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Hit the subscribe button to stay updated and please like this video if you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching.